All right, guys, here we go. Kisele Kupus. Um, it has now been, I'd say probably just about a month and a half, maybe six weeks, we'll call it, uh, since this went into the barrel. And I will say getting old sucks. Um, I didn't see any of this mold forming on top originally, and this is pretty normal for when you're making uh, kupus. So I ended up um, looking back at my recipe, and my recipe, what I thought said five ounces of salt per gallon, was actually only um, three ounces of salt per gallon. So when you make a brine solution for this, you really want ideal number is about 3% uh, brine solution. So I made a 5% brine solution, which isn't bad. It's the upper limits of, of the uh, brine. Uh, you never want to go over five, otherwise it won't ferment. And mine was still fermenting, so like I said, I'm not worried. But what I did is I emptied out a little bit of water and added um, just some clean water to it to kind of drop it down. And the minute I did that, the mold started to form on the top, which is pretty normal. So this stuff, of course, looks disgusting, um, but totally normal for, uh, for the process. So what I'm doing is I'm just trying to gently skim this stuff off. And it's going to take me a few minutes to do this. Then I'm going to remove the rock and remove the plastic lid. And I'm going to grab our first head of Kisele Kupos for Thanksgiving dinner, which is tomorrow. So I really got to get on this and make some sodoma tonight. So we have something to eat for tomorrow other than a turkey. All right, so let me uh, clean this off and then I'll show you the next step and uh, what it looks like. Okay, so I just finished up. Uh, the mold wasn't very uh, thick on this. Sometimes, I mean, it makes like a like a cake, you know, and it's super easy to pull it all off. But I think I did more damage with the uh, little spoon than I did good with the, the holes in it. Uh, but nonetheless, whatever. I ended up uh, clearing it off. I took the rock out. I took the plastic, the lid off. And immediately two nice heads floated to the top. So I just grabbed those. I mean, they look they look really nice. I'm not sure how sour they are yet. Let me see if I could. Yeah, these are these are tough, man. The same thing that happened last year. Um. Hmm. Oh yeah. Hmm. Yeah, they got a little bit. They're not they're not ready yet, hundred percent. But for Sodoma for Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good, man. I'll tell you what. That's some good stuff. So, should be good. All right, guys, there you go. Kisali Kupus 101. All you do from this point forward is maintain the, uh, the mold on top. Keep throwing it out. You don't even have to mix the salt water anymore. These are really nice and salty. And, uh... Enjoy and remember the uh, water is an amazing hangover cure if you drink one little cup of it. I think it has to do with the salt in there, but I don't know. Don't quote me on that. I've never tried it. It kind of makes me gag, but it is what it is. There you go. Kisali Kupus 101. Thank you.